Hello everyone, it's me, Jonathan, um, and this is my, the beginning of my COVID quarantine in Taiwan um, diary, video diary. So I've just got into the room tonight after a long journey from England. I left the day before yesterday from uh, my sister's flat in London at 6 p.m. Um, and then caught a flight to Dubai and then changed and then flew into Taoyuan International Airport this evening, got in about half ten at night and then had to get through a lot of, uh, jump through a lot of hoops, uh, had to do a PCR test, obviously, um, sign a lot of forms, fill out a lot of online things on my phone, um, collect a lot of information, um, QR codes, all kinds of things, but it's all a bit of a blur now. But anyway, the journey is over and I wanted to basically make a video once a day. Um, might not always be this time, it's like nearly 2 a.m. at the moment, but I wanted to make a video um, every day to sort of chart my uh, my quarantine so it's gonna be 14 days so 14 videos um, I'm not gonna shave just to make things fun so I'll gradually um, get more beardy um, and uh, yeah I'll do it from right where I am that here my little desk so yeah I arrived uh, in the hotel room slash cell it's a very strange feeling walking down the corridor for the first time and um, it's very quiet and carpeted. Um, there's little uh, trays outside each person's room with like plastic bags in them that I guess you put your rubbish in at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, I walked right along the end of the little corridor to my door, 508. Um, opened it and walked in. And it's a strange feeling walking in and knowing that you're you're going to uh you're not going to be able to walk out of it again for basically 14 days two weeks um i mean i'll open the door to collect food once a day three times a day and put out my rubbish once a day um but i won't actually leave the room nor am i allowed to on pain of very um very high fines i think it's a, a million nt um about twenty thousand pounds for uh breaching any of the quarantine conditions, so I have to stay in the room. Um, I don't get to see anybody from now until um, February 5th when I get out. Um, I have a little schedule. Whoops. Uh, knock that over. Um, yeah, I have a little schedule. Let's see if I can get that without knocking my camera over again. Because I'm not going to make this video again. Uh, yes, so I have my little schedule here, which. Um, tells me that I'm going to have breakfast. I'm going to collect my breakfast every day at 6 to 6.30, lunch 12 to 12.30, dinner 6 to 6.30. And I guess that's the time that they put it outside my room. And I don't know if the end of that time period is they will take it away if I don't eat it or not. I guess they will. They don't want food sitting out there too long. So if I don't take it, um, I don't get it. Um, and then I have to take my temperature twice a day. And I have to send that and write that down on a little form and send it via line message um, to the hotel. So they gave me a little thermometer in my room, which is nice. Um, and apart from that, the room had some water, some masks, some alcohol, hand sanitizer. Um, that's about it. I'll be honest, it's it is a little bit grim. Like it's it's not it doesn't feel like a hotel. It doesn't feel like I me. Mean, it's not a normal hotel, but. Um, it doesn't feel like checking into a, a room where you're a guest. It feels like checking into a room where um, you're a patient or you're, you know, you're, you're required to do certain things at certain times. Um, and uh, yeah, there was lots of instructions for the room, lots of um, rules, things I'm not allowed to do in the room, uh, things that um, there's even a, an entire price list here for every item, every piece of furniture and everything in the room that if I damage it, how much I need to pay for each thing. So they seem kind of concerned that people are going to smash their rooms up. Look at that. 
So, um, quilt cover small, 1000 NT. Telephone, 1000 NT. Cup, 100 NT. Fire resistant curtain, 6000 NT. So definitely don't break or burn or rip that. Um, yeah. Lots of other little instructions and things in this. Uh, whoops, hit myself in the face with it. Quite tired. Um, in this little handbook for the room. Um, and yeah, I mean, my room has, it's like a weird family room. It's three single beds in different parts of the room. I think I'll mainly be in this little part here. I'm not going to do a tour right now. Maybe I'll do a tour tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so it feels a little bit scary, to be honest. It's, um, it's a strange feeling. I wasn't quite prepared for the feeling when I stepped in. And it's um, it hits you that, yeah, you really can't leave or see anybody for two weeks. It's a long time. I've never done that before in my life and I guess most people won't have done until they've been in a situation like this with lockdown or with a quarantine where, um, you know, these four walls, this room, this is it. This is my whole world for two weeks. Can't go outside. There's no exercise. There's no car park to walk around in. Um, there's no stepping out for five seconds. There's no balcony. It's literally you know, these four walls for two weeks. Um, and so that's why I really wanted to do this video to want to sort of chart if I, you know, how I get on with my mood and just whether I get stressed out by it, whether I, maybe it'll help to talk to the camera once a day to talk about how I'm feeling. Um, maybe I'm being overdramatic and it'll just be fine. It'll be normal, but I, I don't see how it could be in any way normal. Like, like I was saying, no one's ever, no one who ever really does this um, I've never done it in my life, not left a room or a house for two weeks, never not seen anybody for two weeks, um, probably no longer than a day, right? Well, you know, how, how long is it since you've been out of the room that you're in now? Then think about being in that room and not seeing anybody for two weeks. It's, it's intense. It's, uh, yeah, it's intense. It's a little bit scary. It's a little bit strange, but also, you know, it's a, it's an adventure, I guess, um, an adventure inward to see how I deal with it. I've got my laptop, I've got my switch, um, I've got my Kindle, obviously got my phone, I've got plenty of things to do, games to play. I'm going to do a little workout routine, press ups and squats and whatever else I can do here. There's sort of enough room to walk up and down, pace up and down my cell a little bit. But um, yeah, I'll try and get a little routine going. I'll try and figure that out tomorrow. Um, you know, exercise, maybe a bit of study, um, some TV, um, play some games, read, talk to people, try and get some structure and try and get some, uh, um, yeah, some positive, you know, reasons to get up each day and um, not be faced with long stretches of time, you know, doing one thing, trying to keep it, keep it going. Um, things to look forward to each day. Um, I can get deliveries here, apart from the three meals that they will deliver every day, which I'm not expecting to be particularly good. Um, I can get Uber Eats um, delivered to the room. I've got friends that said they will help me out um, with some special deliveries, so if you're one of those people, thank you. Um, if you'd like to be one of those people, um, we'll probably do with, do with a few more. Um, but yeah, that's it for tonight. Obviously, it's been a really long day. I'm pretty tired. I haven't really had time to collect my thoughts and think about what I'm going to say. But um, yeah, we'll do this once a day. I'll upload it to YouTube. You watch it or don't watch it. You probably watch it for a few seconds and then get bored. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we go. So today is day zero, I guess. Um, and tomorrow I'll um, upload one at some point in the evening and talk about how my first day went and how I'm feeling and we'll go from there. So thanks for sticking with it if you watched to the end um, and uh, yeah if you have any suggestions any tips how I could make the videos more fun or other things that I could do while I'm in quarantine um, you know any ideas advice um, questions anything like that then feel free to comment um, and um, yeah thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.